मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई मिस नवीदा शेख फ्रॉम ब्रहन मुंबई महानगर पालिका एम सी जी एम वर्चुअल क्लास आई वेलकम ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू अनदर एन इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन इन टूडे सेशन वील बी लर्निंग समथिंग यू एन इंटरेस्टिंग फ्रॉम ए साइंस टेक्स बुक सो लेट्स गेट्स Good morning dear students I am Mrs Navita Sheikh from MCGM virtual class I welcome all my dear students to another an interesting session in today's class we'll be learning a very interesting part from your scholarship book and uh, the chapter's name is measurement and in that we are going to learn a part of that that is 4.4 Rheem Gross paper map measurement coins and currency notes now we have this unit number 4 divided into four parts we have already uploaded three parts and this is the last part of this unit where we will be talking about measurements and in this topic we are going to learn about things related to paper measurement as to how many how much how much papers are there okay so we do not say numbers of paper the units in which paper is measured is mostly the word the unit is used as rem or gross and we'll be talking about coins and currency notes also theek hai so let's get started and learn something interesting paper measurement 1 dozen is equal to 12 remember these are the things that you will need throughout the chapter you will need these information so that you can solve the sums quickly and easily you should know this much okay one dozen means 12 anything kuch bhi cheez agar one dozen hum log bolte hain to means it will have 12 units of that particular item it could be we take bananas one dozen of bananas so in that how many bananas will be there in one dozen there will be 12 same way for eggs anything that you can measure in dozen so it will have 12 one gross if i say one gross it means it has 12 dozens okay it will have 12 dozen then you have one quire which is equal to 24 papers now this is the measurement for papers if i say one quire of paper means there is there will be 24 papers in that quire next one quire is equal to two dozen of paper theek hai 24 means how much if i break it into 2 it will be 12 12 so 24 so that means 12 dozen of papers will be there in one quire these are the things that you should know by heart one rim is equal to 20 quires now remember a quire kitna hai one quire is equal to 24 papers that means agar one rim hai to it will be equal to 20 quire means 20 into 24 you can imagine it will be equal to 480 papers okay so this is also very important next coins and currencies big coins and notes can be exchanged for smaller ones and small notes and coins can be exchanged for a single bigger note or coin let us move on to the question Two rim papers means how many dozen paper? Let us see the options. Option number one is twenty. Option number two is forty. Option number three is sixty. Option number four is eighty. Let us understand that one rim of paper will be equal to four eighty papers. One rim के अंदर कितने papers होते हैं? Four eighty papers. So two rim के अंदर कितने papers होंगे? Nine sixty papers होंगे. ठीक है? Twice, no? Two times 480 plus 480, it will be 960 papers. Now it is asking you how many dozens of paper it will have. So one dozen of paper is equal to 12 papers, right? One dozen me kitne hote hain? 12 hota hai. So if you divide 960 papers with 12, you will get number of dozens of paper. So it will be equal to 80 dozens paper. Understood? So this is how you solve this sum. you have to understand what exactly has been asked two rims of paper means how many dozens usko dozens mein answer chahiye to hamare paas remember rim ko hum log pehle convert karenge number of papers theek hai the numbers of paper you can easily divide that with 12 and get the number of dozens 
okay so i hope this is clear option number 4 is the correct option right 80 dozen of papers next question out of 10 quire papers one gross paper were used for printing how many papers remained in stock now you have to know what is 1 gross and what is 10 quire of paper how much okay how many papers are there in 10 quire how many papers are there in 1 gross so that way if you remember that you will be able to solve the sum i will read the question again out of 10 quire of papers if i have 10 quire of papers and one gross paper is used out of that 10 quire one gross has been used for printing now how many papers will be left in the stock that i have let us see the option 144 120 96 okay let us see the explanation for that one quire is equal to 24 papers ek quire paper ek quire agar humne bolte hai na papers that means it will have 24 papers in it so 10 quires will be 240 papers right so that way you have got 10 quires is equal to how much 240 papers now one gross paper one gross of papers is equal to 144 papers means two 144 papers so if i remove one gross of paper from the 10 quire of paper that means 240 minus 144 it will be equal to 96 understood so 96 is the correct option so option number 3 that is 96 is the correct alternative understood very simple if you know the number of quire one quire is equal to how many papers one gross is equal to how many papers so you can simply subtract them and get the answer it is very quick and you can do it very quickly also next question if equal number of notes of rupees 5 10 and 20 amount to 2450 rupees find the total number of notes of each kind option number 1 is 80 option number 2 70 option number 3 40 and option number 4 is 35 now understand the question it is saying that i have equal number of notes of 5 10 and 25 20 5 10 and 20 ke equal number of notes hai hamare paas aur wo jab sab add hoti hai to it will give you an amount of sari notes mila kar it will be an amount of 2450 now it is asking you how many notes of each kind that we have फाइव रुपीज की टेन रुपीज की ट्वेंटी रुपीज की कितनी टोटल नोट है हमारे पास जो ये अमाउंट बनाती है ठीक है क्वेश्चन समझ में आ गया लेट अस सी हाउ टू सोल्व द आंसर इफ आई नो दैट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ नोट दैट इज फाइव टेन एंड ट्वेंटी इफ आई एड दम अप इट विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव रुपीज थर्टी फाइव रुपीज द नंबर ऑफ नोट ऑफ ईच काइंड डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल अमाउंट that is total number of notes of each kind is 35 and total amount is 2450 so if i divide that that is 2450 divided by 35 it will give you 70 so option number 2 that is 70 is the correct alternative because when i divide the total amount this is my total amount that is 2450 if i divided by 35 that is the total equal number of notes theek hai jo 5 10 or 20 ke jo notes the it made about 35 total theek hai so i will get the answer as 70 if i divide that i will get an amount that is 70 so the correct alternative is alternative number 2 let's move on Shalini purchased a compass box for 120 and other educational material for 245. She gave the shopkeeper a 500 rupee note. What amount will she get back? 135, 125, 
145 or 115. So let us understand the question once again. Shalini purchased a compass box. She has a compass box. She bought it for 120 rupees and other educational material for 245. Compass box is for 120 and the other material that she purchased was for 245. She gave the shopkeeper a 500 rupee note. Usne 500 rupees ki note diya. What amount will she get back? A very simple question it is. Right? Shalini purchased goods worth rupees 120 and 245. That means you have to add this up. So she gave the shopkeeper 500 rupee note. So you have to subtract 500 rupees and the total amount that she purchased. That means 120 plus 245. If you add them, you will get 365. Right? 365 ko you will minus it for 500. And you will get the answer as rupees 135. That the shopkeeper has given Shalini back. From the 500 rupee note that she had given. Okay, very simple question. Yes, sab hum log, hum log jab bazaar jate, if you go to the market, you do the same thing. If your parents give you a 100 rupees note and if you purchase two items, one for 20 rupees, one for 30 rupees. So how much will the shopkeeper give you back? You automatically you calculate how much you spent. You spent 50 rupees total. 20 plus 30, 50. And you subtract 50 from the 100 that you had given. So you will get 50 rupees back. Same thing is happening here. She purchased a compass box for rupees 120 and other items for 245. When you add them, you will get 365 and she had given how much rupees? 500 rupee note. So you will subtract it and you will be left with rupees 135. So option number 1 is the correct option. So 135 is the correct alternative. Let's move on to the next question. 4 dozens plus 3 gross is equal to how many dozen? So, pay, uh, students, you need to know 1 gross is equal to how much. Okay, if you pay attention, uh, if you have uh, seen the first slide that we discussed about gross, measure, uh, gross, choir, dozens. Okay, so you know what is 1 gross equal to. So, if you want, you can solve the sum by yourself right now and see the correct alternative or wait till we do the explanation so option number one is 34 option number two is 40 option number three is 43 and option number four is 67 it is asking you to convert it into dozens now remember four dozens already hai hamare paas so four dozens ko we are not going to touch we have to convert this three gross into dozens okay and then add it to four dozen so one gross is equal to how much one gross is equal to 12 dozen so, 3 gross will be equal to 3 into 12, that is 36 dozens. So, 36 dozen plus 4 dozen, which will be equal to 40 dozens. Okay, so much me aage kaise hua? 4 dozens to already the. 3 gross is a very big quantity, okay? It will be 36 dozen. Kaise aaya? I've explained you. 1 gross is equal to 12 dozen. So, 3 gross will be equal to 36 dozen. So, you add 4 dozen plus 36 dozen, you will get 40 dozen. So, option number 2 is the correct alternative. Okay. So, you will mark it out. Let's move on to the next question. If rupees 4,86,000 are distributed equally among 45 person, how many rupees will each person get? 108. 180, 1080 or 1008. If you all have not understood the question, I'll read it again and explain it to you. If there is 4,86,000 which is distributed equally among 45 people. There are 45 people. I'm distributing this amount equally to each and every one. So how are you going to solve the sum? Very simple it is. You will simply divide that number by 45. The amount that you had, you have to divide it by number of people. You will get how much rupees each person will get. So, it will be 1080. Option number 4, sorry, option number 3 is the correct alternative. That is 1080. Alright, I hope it is clear. How did you get the sum? How did you solve it? You have to simply divide it and 
you will get the answer. 400 rim papers were sent through a truck out of these 2,800 paper, choir papers were unloaded at Thane and the remaining were unloaded at Kalyan. How many papers were unloaded at Kalyan? So, pay attention to the question. The question says that I have 400 rims of papers. Now, if you know how many uh, rims are, how many choirs of paper, the sum will be very simple. So, 400 rim of paper I have in a truck and out of which 2,800 choir of papers were unloaded at Thane and the remaining were unloaded at Kalyan. The, and the question is saying that how much paper was, how many papers were unloaded at Kalyan. Okay, so you have to simply subtract and come to know the answer. But dono units are 400 rims of paper and 2800 choirs paper unloaded hue te thane pe. So you will see the conversion. One rim is equal to 20 choirs of paper. Okay, one rim ke andar 20 choir papers. Ke hote hai. And so 2800 choirs of paper is equal to how many rims? 140 rims. So if you have got 140 rims of paper, all right. So 140 rim, हम लोगों ने कहाँ उतरा ये 140 rim? थाना पे, ठीक है? थाने पे. Okay, this was unloaded at थाने. Now total rim is how much? 400, right? So 400 minus 140 is equal to how much? Yes, 260, right? 260. So, 260 rims were unloaded at Kalyan. Okay? So, 260 rims were unloaded at Kalyan. I hope it is clear to everybody. How many choir paper make 7 rims of paper? So, 100, 120, 130 or 140. You should know that one rim of paper has how many papers? 20 choirs paper in it. So, if I talk about 7 rim, it will be very simple for you all to do that. So, 7 into 20 which is equal to 140, right? So, 140 is the answer. So, 140 is my fourth alternative. So, fourth alternative is the correct alternative. Dhanesh has rupees 1020 in equal number of notes of 50, 20, 10 and 5. What is the number of 50 notes that he has with him? 50, 12, 68 or 34. Now, you will divide the number of notes. You have already solved this type of a sum earlier. So, you can take help of it. I have Dhanesh has 1020. And if you add the number of notes, that is 50 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5, it will be 85. Okay. So, if I divide this, you will get the answer as 12. If you are still confused, I will explain it to you again. Dhanesh has this many uh, equal number of notes of 5, 10, 20, 50. If you add 50 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5, it will be equal to 85. Okay, if you want you can do it and check it will be equal to 85. So, I have how much? He has how much rupees in total? He has 10. Okay, आप लोग ये नंबर को डिवाइड करोगे by 85, so you will get you will get 12 as the answer. Understood? So which alternative? Alternative number two is the correct alternative. Nia has 12. 100 rupee notes. Now pay attention to the question carefully. Now it is little bit uh, confusing in the sentence. Nia has 1200 rupee notes. I have highlighted 12 to make you understand that 12 notes are 100 rupees. Ke uske paas. She has 8 5 rupee notes. 5 
आठ नोट्स है उसके पास पांच रुपए की एंड फिफ्टीन नोट्स शी हैज ऑफ टेन रुपीज पंद्रह नोट है टेन रुपीज की सो हाउ मच मनी इन ऑल डस नियर हैव इट इज वेरी सिंपल यू है राइट अब एड क्या करना है ट्वेल्व नोट्स है हंड्रेड रुपीज की तो इट विल बी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एट नोट्स है फाइव रुपीज की तो इफ यू एड दैट इट विल बी एट अगर नोट्स है फाइव रुपीज की इट विल बी फोर्टी रुपीज राइट एंड फिफ्टीन नोट्स है अगर टेन रुपीज को इट विल बी वन फिफ्टी सो इफ यू एड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड प्लस 40 plus 150 it will be 1390 that is 1390 so you have to see which option option number 2 is the correct option it is very simple theek hai it is very tricky because uh, often you all get confused between is 1200 rupees notes kya hoti hai 8 5 rupee notes so you have to pay attention 12 notes hai 500 ki 8 notes hai 5 rupees ki aur 15 notes hai 10 rupees ki so if you multiply them with the number of notes 12 into 100 1200 8 into 5 40 15 into 10 150 if you add them you will get 1390 if 12 electrical appliances of the same type cost rupees 51000 what is the cost of one appliance 12 appliances hai same type ke suppose कुछ भी इलेक्ट्रिकल केटल हो सकता है या फिर एनीथिंग टोस्टर और एनीथिंग सेम है बारह अप्लायसेज है एंड ईच ऑल ऑफ देम कॉस्ट फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड सो वॉट विल बी द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन अप्लायंस सिंपल यू हैव टू डिवाइड इट सो लेट अस सी द ऑप्शन फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी और फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी इफ यू डिवाइड इट इफ यू डिवाइड फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड बाई ट्वेल्व यू विल गेट 4250 that is the first alternative two quires paper papers plus five dozen papers is equal to how much papers so if you know one quire is equal to how much and one dozen is equal to how much you can simply find out this okay so two quires of paper is 24 papers theek hai and 5 dozens of paper is equal to if you know 1 dozen that is 12 papers so so if you solve this sum it is very simple if you know this two thing you can easily solve the sum and get the answer so one quire is 24 papers so two quires will be how many papers 24 plus 24 that is 48 papers plus 5 dozen means 5 into 12 that is 60 papers so if you add that you will get what 100 papers 108 papers okay so 4 plus 6 is 10 108 so alternative number 1 is the correct alternative okay i hope it is clear If 25 coins each of rupees two, rupees five, and rupees ten are taken, what will be the total amount? Will it be 235? Will it be 325? Will it be 245 or 425? So you have to be smart and understand how to solve the sum. You have to simply multiply two into 25. You have to multiply five into twenty-five because it will give you the total amount. Okay, and ten into twenty-five. So two into twenty-five is fifty. Five into twenty-five is one twenty-five, and ten into twenty-five is two fifty. So if I add all of them. it will give me 425 rupees so the total amount that we will have is 425 so the correct alternative is alternative number 4 that is 
if five quire papers out of one gross are used for printing the printing then how many papers remained 60 20 12 or 24 so if you remember one gross of paper is equal to 144 papers in it and one quire is equal to 24 papers so if you use this you will get the correct alternative How many maximum number of fifty rupee notes could be there in total amount of rupees nine seventy? Option number one seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, or twenty. You have to solve the sum and answer in the comment section below. Write down the correct alternative in the comment section below. session was quite useful to you in the next coming period we learn something new and interesting till then thank you